Food courts. Like where the, yeah, where the, these the places, the snack, the snack shacks. Yeah. They need to open more, more of the snack places during the like yeah, magic really hours. Need. Oh, it's closed oh, off. So ten yeah. till six thirty. Okay, so that doesn't open till ten. Should you guys see the labyrinths open? Then? Yeah. <clears throat> when you see people stood next to a stood next to a bin smoking, that clearly has a massive no smoking sign on it. <laughs> To a time. Do you want Thank you. Labyrinth also opens at 10. Huh? Just saying, the labyrinth also opens at 10. Thank you. The queue for Mickey Mouse is going to two people. Good time to go. Although it doesn't open until 10. The so thing is, we, we, we said you're going to wait 40 minutes till it opens at 10. And then probably another 10-15 minutes on top of that. So it'll still be like near enough an hour yeah, anyway. Yeah. 
Yeah, Peter Pan Q is outside now. What really do you reckon? Long, really Thirty minutes long. now, you reckon? Yeah, easily. I think the time. I think the time's like oh, forty minutes. It says. Oh, oh. <coughs> guys, you're wasting your time. Yeah, you are. No, I'm only joking. I know a lot of people really <laughs> it's love rubbish, it. It's rubbish. Don't bother. <laughs> we like it, and we, we just won't wait. It is, but I won't wait for all of it. Guys, would you wait for Peter Pan? Like, is it? Is that? Is that? So, is that one of the rides that you love? When we're, we're not. We don't. We said before we don't get it. We don't, we don't really get understand. the appeal. I'm just checking the times for Buzz Holiday. Hold on. I just enjoy the tour of Fantasyland. Yeah. <laughs> just walk in a big circle. <laughs> Frontierland is open during Magic Hours. Yeah, and it wasn't when I came in February. It was the last time. So literally, Thunder Mountain is now 45 minutes. The queue to get a fast pass is probably about the same time to actually get the physical fast pass. So we come to the haunted, the uh, Phantom Manor. Phantom Manor, which is five minutes. It's five. Manor, Just did it for the last time. Look at the queue already for Jack. Craziness. The queue waiting for Jack. <laughs> it's great, you know, Phantom Manor. Um, I like it because it's very different than the one in the States. Yeah. Um, different story, big, isn't it? Different story. It's a lot creepier, I think. Uh, not as sort of yeah. child friendly as the one in America. Um, Got a bit dark. There we are. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, one of my favourites. That I think. Five minute wait helps. <laughs> Five minute wait does help. Yeah. Um, so we're just gonna head over because the park is now open. So we're just gonna head over to Adventureland to see if we can get on Pirates before everyone um, starts queuing. Although I think most people tend to head straight to Thunder Mountain, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, but we'll check the fast pass queue as we go past to see if it's worth grabbing one or not. Yeah. So that's the queue to just get a fast pass. Not to get on the ride, just to get a fast pass. Look all the way down there. Literally, you might as well just go on the ride and just wait because by the time you waited in this queue to get a fast pass and then waited in the actual fast pass queue, it would have been the same amount of time. <laughs> and we're waiting to walk with the sun behind just us. Just in the shadows. Yeah. Let's get around this corner. I'm going on Casey Jr. again, guys. Yeah, we had a change of plan because we got to Pirates and it was down. So and they, they couldn't give the time when it was going to be back up again. So we saw that Casey Jr. was how many minutes? Five. Five. So we thought we'll, we'll get on that. Um, swap past Pizza Pan and then the queue for to actually get a fast pass for that was also massive. We were just saying they really, really could do with updating the fast pass system here. Like I know that I suspect it probably is in the pipeline, but even just to be able to sit on your phone and just say, right, I'll have a fast pass for that. Yeah. You know, it just saves everybody queuing, doesn't it? And then if you can't get one because they're all gone, well, so be it. It's the way that it is, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. On the front. Woo! Ooh, it's a bit breezy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, here comes Mickey and Minnie. Cute. Never done this before. Legends of the Wild West. Not quite sure what it is. I think it's some kind of walkthrough. Let's pinch out here. We cross over the bridge and go on the other side. Good view of Frontierland though. What's wrong with me? 
it's fine. Is it the reality? It, yeah, you're right, it is, isn't it? It's because you kind of know that it's not going to be like magical now for the for, until the next trip. I love, love that Halloween parade. I think I loved it when we first watched it, and then as we've watched it again and again, just got a little bit more obsessed every time. <laughs> so kind of starting to know the words now and the dance moves. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's such a good, such a good parade. It's well, that's well worth catching. Like if you can, if you can get, you know, if you can get here. Only twice a day. It is only twice a day, and if you can, try and get to the, um, try and do it twice, and try and watch the parade on one of the times, and then try and get to the middle in front, like where that circle is in front of the castle. Try and get to there, like in between the stages, because then that's really good as well, isn't it? Because um, they do a little show there in the middle. But uh, yeah, absolutely worth worth checking that out. Have a nice day, haven't we? Did we film at lunch? We didn't, did we? So for lunch we went to uh, it was a Le Chal, Le Chal, yeah. The Pinocchio restaurant. The Pinocchio restaurant in Fantasyland. Because <laughs> um, we wanted to go the other day and the queue was absolutely massive. So um, yeah, so we we got we went today and we got what did we get? It was pork shank and it was really nice, like really, really nice. And you get fries with it and sauerkraut and, um, and an apple strudel. And it was really nice actually. Um, that was 16 minutes now. Yeah, and we got a little discount on it. Oh look, look, Anthony bought a coat by the way. Can't really see can't it. Can't really see it. It's literally just a black coat, black coat with a Disneyland Paris. Person. In, in like a metal. The problem is with coats is that because it doesn't bother me for something on the back of it but you like a plain coat don't you like like what's the word like discreet like Disney but discreet yeah. discreet Disney. So like a lot of the coats that like I found a blue coat that I liked and it had like the Paris thing on the front but when you turned it around it had this really like garish design on the back. Yeah. It's just a bit too much. So. I would I would have worn that to be fair but it's, yeah it's not it's not you is it. But I mean, then we literally we were just saying we were in the shop just then um, the uh, all the shops have mostly got the same stuff in. However, occasionally you'll go in a shop and they'll have like one or two things that you've never ever seen before yeah. in any other shop. Um, and this jacket was one of those. Like we've not seen this jacket in any. And this was this was in the. I want to say Sir Mickey's, but no, it's not called no, Sir Mickey's. It it's the one that's it's kind the equivalent of, of Sir Mickey's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think with it like is the, Sir Mickey's. With like the beanstalk outside. Yeah, it's Sir Mickey's. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So literally, just next to the as you go through the castle, it's on the kind of the right hand side. Um, so yeah, we've got this in there. Um, and I, I, yeah, like I'm being basic, and I bought me and I bought a, I bought a spirit jersey. I, did, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it, but I've got it. And it's really pretty and sparkly. I haven't got a sparkly one yet. So, uh, and I tried it on in the shop and it's all good, so. So it's the Arendelle Aqua one. Yeah, sorry, it's the Arendelle Aqua one to match my ears. And I'm eyeing up the bag for when we go on our next trip as well. <laughs> too much, too much. No, this one's wearing out really quickly because I use it every day. I've got my, I've got this one on. I've got that one on. Um, but yeah, it's where, yeah, definitely need a, need a new one. And we are, um, Gonna go back to the hotel. Aww. Don't want to. <laughs> we're gonna go back to the hotel and um, grab our stuff, and then we're gonna get on the train. So we're looking. We're definitely coming back in Feb. 100% that's all booked and everything. We haven't booked our hotel yet. We are gonna do that. We are gonna hopefully stay on Disney property. Um, but then we we want to come back at Christmas. And I know what I don't know whether basically we've we, we've got a holiday in the pipeline for for August, which is a biggie. Um, we're not going to talk too much about that just yet, but um, if we're hoping to come back at Christmas if we can afford it, even if it's just for two days. Like, do you know what the thing is though? Is that it's great to come during a season because they have different characters out and stuff. So like. Like I think that it's been announced late, like last week or the week before that like um, Remy and Emile are going to be out over Christmas and obviously you've got Christmas Jack Skellington and you know Sandy Claus but like I just I don't know I, even if we just come for a couple of days and just kind of catch those characters and you know do a few rides and whatever and, we'd, and obviously when we said we'll come back in February anyway um, we think it's going to be a lot quieter then don't we? It was this year. Well, compared to compared, compared to, to how it is now, it was always going to be super busy at Halloween. Even though it's Halloween next week, you know. Although it might be Halloween. busier next February because they're doing the Frozen. They're not, they're not doing Pirates and Princesses next year. They're doing the Frozen celebration. Yeah, probably. So oh well. we'll see. Although it's a long, it's a long time. It's a long time. Yeah. So. But it's, what is that? 
it's like it's a new special. season, I didn't know. So it's going to be a parade and stuff, is it? I think so, yeah. Alright, that'll be cool. So, let's go. Wow. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> uh, Sam. Cry Stop it, I don't know. Lama day. <laughs> in London. <laughs> um, it was a long train journey back. It was. Lots of kids. <laughs> Being loud. Oh, do you know, we got, the thing is, when we got on the train we were like, oh. <laughs> there was a child being particularly noisy in the station and lots of them and I thought you can just guarantee that they're going to be sat next to us and they were. Once we'd got to uh, Gardiner we had to walk across the station and then up to the top floor for the um, you're a star. You're a star as well. So it it yeah, like we did we did direct from London to Manla Valley um last time and that was a lot easier. We're definitely doing that now. Yeah. Um good thing about um Gardenard is that you go through UK custom like the passport thing there. So once you that get was back good. Yeah, once you get back here you just you straight out then. Yeah. But when we went direct from Disney to here we had to queue up once we were back to go through the passport border yeah. control. The layout at Gardiner for getting on the train is not good though. No. It's a very long, thin, like docking area if you like, where there's a couple of cafes and stuff. But everyone, it was crazy. Like I said to you, it's not the end for my anxiety. <laughs> this this whole Isn't episode. Like everyone run. I don't know why. Like everyone's got a seat reservation, so I just don't know why everyone starts to run once once they open the doors. It's because of the luggage thing. The lucky tracks won't fall though, will they? Yeah. Are they? Mm. That's a good thing about flying though, because you just check it all in. I said that to you, didn't I? Like, yeah. you know, going through security and stuff, you're lugging these bags with you. You know, actually that is probably one of the nicer things about flying. Um, but then you've, you've got to, you've got to get yourself from Charles de Gaulle all the way to Man La Valley then, so then you've still got a bit of a faff to get there. But um, we prefer, I think, going straight from London to Man La Valley, really. Yeah. Um, and we'll be doing that next time. We're in our trusty Premier Travelling Hub. Um, we are in Westminster. Yes. Um, which is just by St James's Park uh, Tube Station. We look, we've said this before, but we love these because they're quite cheap, aren't they, and stuff. Especially if you, if you book them far enough out in advance, you can get a real good deal on them. Yeah. Um, and because we tend to book our stuff like, way in Super advance, advanced, yeah, yeah. So. It's all about the advanced bookings for the, for for the cheap. Ev for everything though, yeah. I think. Um, so we'll be on the phone now booking for booking our hotel for Feb. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, so we're in London now for two days. It's nice not to have to be going home, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it, is, it is kind of, it does take the edge off. I think, I mean, I did get a bit a bit teary when we were signing off in um, the Disneyland part, but it is nice to kind of just not be going straight home. I've got two more days to kind of, you know, Get back to get and the back. clocks go back so we get an extra get hour an extra hour <laughs> we are winning <laughs> <laughs> guys listen i really really hope that you've enjoyed our disneyland paris series um we have had the best time so guys thank you so much for watching and joining along with us on our disneyland paris adventures um it's sad that it, we've kind of come to an end now but i'm, I'm sure you've picked up some tips and i hope you've got to kind of see the you know see the parks from our eyes a little bit and, and enjoyed that um if you liked our video today give it a thumbs up and if you've not watched the video go back and watch them <laughs> um and if you'd like to keep up to date with what we're doing um and you want to go or you want to go back and watch our, our past videos click the subscribe button and then click the little notification bell and then you'll get a notification when we pop a video out um should be every saturday sometimes sometimes <laughs> it's not but that's you know we kind of we try to <laughs> whenever whenever, <laughs> whenever, whenever. So. anthony edits so whenever we can <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.